Hello everyone, this is Iran Doc and in this video I'd like to discuss something interesting and that is a recent study. So sorry I haven't been uploading lately, sorry about that, I haven't been uploading lately. But that's because there was nothing interesting that came out. But recently there was a study done, it was published on September 24th of this year and it was titled Genetic Variation, Distinct Genetic Variation and Heterogeneity of the Iranian Population and what it found was that the Iranian population is is very heterogeneous and ethnic groups are similar but there are distinctions between them but it proved that Iranian ethnic groups have largely remained stable over the past 5,000 to 10,000 years and this is incredible and it also showed the PCA charts which showed the clustering of these different population groups so now I'm just going to go through the PCA charts and a summary was provided by the website known as Pave One. They provided a summary of this article so you can view that or you can read the article yourself. I'll post it here. I'll post it in the description and in the comment section. So anyways I'm going to take a look at the PCAs now. So these are the principal component analyses and these just look at the genetic variation between the groups. So as you can clearly see here the three the four outlying groups are the Pacific, uh, the Islanders, uh, sorry, the Iranians high, high inhabiting the Persian Gulf Islands, the Baluchis and Sistanis and the Turkmen and these are the most distinct groups from the remaining Iranian populations and the most similar groups which cluster together are the Arabs, the Azeris, the Baluchis, sorry, the Arabs, the Azeris, the Gilaks, the Kurds, the Lurs, the Mazidiranis and the Persians. And another interesting thing to note here is that Iran Iranian Arabs clustered in nicely with other Iranians and this is quite remarkable as it shows that even Iranian Arabs are uh, more or less Iranian genetically and are not uh, close to the their remaining Arab neighbors so that's quite interesting as well and these Arab samples were taken from Ahwaz and again so this is another PCA and this PCA just shows the genetic diversity between these groups and you can clearly see that the Arabs cluster within the range of other uh, Iranian groups and you can see the Arabs are here in brown and they cluster in the vicinity of the other Iranian groups including the Zoroastrians, the Kurds and the Lurs, Mazandaranis and Gilaks. The three outlying Iranian groups are the Sistanis, the Baluchis, the Persian Gulf Islanders as well as the Turkmen and these are the outliers while the remainders form their own Iran cluster and this is a bit distinct from the Middle Eastern cluster as well as the distinct from Sephardim in North Africans as well as South Asians and Europeans so this is quite interesting as well but overall you can clearly see that the Iranians form their own cluster and that's quite remarkable and then I'm going to take a look at uh, so the, these were around a thousand samples and uh, the, the the people sampled were numbered in the thousands which is again quite remarkable that they got such a big sample set and uh, you know that's really interesting and uh, you know the study had autosomal breakdowns as well but I'm not going to go into that overall it provided a very good picture of autosomal breakdowns of the Iranian population but yeah overall it's, it seems that the Iranian gene pool has pretty much remained stable and uh, that uh, you know that the more or less the Iranian population hasn't really changed for a long time and overall the core Iranian the core of the Iranian population do does overlap and there is a great deal of overlap between the core Iranian population of course there are outliers but there is a great degree of overlap between the core Iranian population groups including the Arabs who cluster in nicely with the Lurs and other the not really the Azeris but with the Lurs and the Kurds both of these groups cluster in nicely with the Iranian Arabs which proves that the Iranian Arabs are likely not uh, of uh, Arabian descent as previously believed but rather are mostly of native stock and yeah so that's essentially it for this video please like share and subscribe and I would appreciate it if you really uh, shared my channel and shared this video but yeah this was just a recent study on uh, Iranian genetics and this is the best we have for now in regards to the ancient samples no Sassanid era samples have been found and uh, that there there's still a work in progress on the origin of the Iranics there's a study coming out on that too when that comes out I'll make a video on it but thanks for love watching and please like share and subscribe and take care and thanks for your support